morning, morning, morning. Let's get this old beast fired up. Grab my coffee cup, most importantly. Just curious. Since we fixed the air leak, my air pressure will be when we fire her up here. There's a reason I don't bring the truck home anymore. Well, very often anyway. Because that's where I used to park snowball. But at the same time, I used to bust up the concrete too because that nose all the way up to the, to the garage to uh, make the turn in. We're gonna get ready to head, head up and get the trailers and go unload and see where we're going today. I don't think we're going back to Kansas City. Up and see, we got big rocks going. Oh, oh, Uncle Belly's in front of us. Got some new fuel caps, too. I'll show you them in a minute, but big side of that sucker. It's like calling coils, big coils. <laughs> there it comes. back down to Blythefield, pick up another load of beans, but this time we're not going back to Kansas City. We're going to go into Kansas a little bit to New Century, Kansas. Deliver over there and you know get a load of rock back. But, you know, I've been hauling up beans. You guys know what's going on with beans. You got a general idea of how I do it. Anyway, I'm sure somebody's an expert to tell me, oh, you're doing it wrong. Oh, that guy's up. Got us some Taco Bell. Baja Blast. <laughs> uh, sure looks like we're going to get wet today. Oh, we're sitting down here waiting to load. They're at least an hour behind right now. And with the potential of storms coming through, well, you know, stealing electricity, they I should say stealing lightning either way, but uh, I waddled over and got their porter potty over in that building there. Wind's picking up, storms rolling in. But uh, over there, there's porter potty in that building. That building over there got a porter john in it. And you know, I went in, you know, just to use the bathroom real quick, not the major, you know. You know, some of you truck drivers watch these videos. At least, you know, I hope you're watching. But watch these videos and wonder why we can't, places don't let us use the bathrooms or let us park there or whatever. 
Some of y'all nasty. That's all there is to it. Some of y'all just flat nasty. That's why we don't, you know, we get treated with disrespect when we go to places or, you know, you want to pull in some place, got to use bathroom. No, nope, no bathrooms for truck drivers. Or they don't supply nothing at all, not even a porta potty. And some of y'all just can't be respectful. I mean, we're the dumpster. Right there. There's a bag of crap sitting right in front of the dumpster. They didn't even throw it in the dumpster. They threw it right in front of the dumpster. Ooh, that weather looks nasty coming out of the south. I don't know. <laughs> Some of y'all just nasty. That's all I got to say. Well, I told you. It's going to rain. It's raining. Oh man, they still haven't even called one o'clock in. Here we are. Getting, we're getting close to three o'clock. Still ain't got no one o'clock in there. Bad gun. Yeah, we're not doing too bad. It's hard to see through the rain covered window. But they finally called the one o'clock up. And it's only, you know, three o'clock. So <laughs> we ain't doing too bad here. 4.30, we're finally rolling up to the scale slowly. The ballpark, these guys are wrapped all the way around and down and all the way back over that way. I don't know, there ain't many trucks, there's only one truck behind me at 2 o'clock, but wow. I have never seen it backed up this bad here. Gee, see we got a little bit of rain here. The ditch ain't, don't usually have any water in it. So over there. And then, there's always the ones that don't understand the rules. Hey, we gotta wait for your turn, buddy. I ain't gonna let you in early because you think you're special. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it kills me. I like his tarp. He's got such a beautiful tarp hole on top of his sleeper. Man. <laughs> oh, man. It doesn't happen in the flatbed world often, I promise you. But normally, we come in here, we're right in, right out. <laughs> Especially, you know, for our appointment time. Occasionally, they have a little hiccup in their system, I guess. And you get this scenario, but we get over there, we're almost ready to load. But I still need to get out and put my boards up, but it's as you can see. Yep. <laughs> Get out of the way, Roulette brother. I'm trying to look at a Western Star here. Woo, buddy. We got the maximum overdrive dude on the back. Come on, the Green Goblin. Come on. Woo, buddy. Look at that old boy. Shined up like a diamond, I tell you what. Constellation sleeper instead of a stratosphere like we, we have here with Fireball. Yeah, the guy in front of me, he, he mad at me. Because I guess he left his winch bar sitting on his trailer. And it fell off in the middle of the turn to come back here. You know, we had to make a big U-turn type deal way over there. Long story short, he come over and you know asked if I seen it laying on the ground when I pulled in. I said, yeah, I was laying back there to flip around at. And I said, I went and picked it up before somebody stuck it in the tire and stuck, leaned it up against the pole. I guarantee you, it ain't there now. Oh, bud, what do you want me to do? I yelled on guy. One guy yelled on the radio saying, hey, if somebody lost it, it's you know where it's at. And I got on the radio a couple times trying to get somebody's attention about it and where I put it. And he didn't answer, so. I guess the disadvantage to not having a CB radio on, kind of bite them. But I tried. I ain't going door to door because all it takes is one dishonest person, and he still loses his bar. So, I mean, granted, he probably would have been the first person to claim it, but I don't know who all lost a bar. Hey, we finally made it in. We got to get the load ready, but hey, at least we're this far. This is a lot further than where we've been today. 
Okay. As soon as we get it loaded, I gotta pull around back, you know, way over yonder. You see that right, I hope. Running low on voltage again. And I hit the old sleeper lights. Nothing. Nothing. So. We got something going on. I'm not sure. You know, that whole situation started after I stopped to get fuel. You know, I was hoping it, you know, it kind of straightened itself. But it didn't. So we need to figure that out. Because lights ain't working. I have no air back there. Everything works in the cab just fine. But I have nothing in the sleeper. My refrigerator ain't running. So uh, hoping I can maybe kick my tire inverter on and it'll work good enough to warm me something up to eat tonight because I doubt there's going to be parking at the truck stop and yeah, you know, I don't have the hours to really go anywhere so we're kind of screwed. Well, it's 9.30. We're just now pulling out of scale. Got my two chains on that they require but we still got to finish chaining it up. I might just wait till in the morning but I still gotta try to figure out what we got going on there. I'm gonna look, try to try to dig into it best I can before I go to bed, but it is what it is at this point. But I don't know. We'll see. Well, we're just now getting that moving around. It's about 6:30 or so in the morning. Still gotta go chain our load down. Uh, I fiddled around, I fiddled around with the, you know, trying to look at wires and stuff last night once I got loaded. Didn't have any luck finding anything drastic. Got up this morning, voltage is still slowly dropping, so that either means the alternator ain't charging like it's supposed to, or I got something else happening somewhere along the way, but. I'm going to go with the alternator is probably not charging like it's supposed to, being, you know, it kind of looks like it's full of crap. Um, so if I end up changing the alternator today at some point, one of the disadvantages to running a lot of dirt road, uh, I'm going to wait, wait to hear from the old man, see if he's got any other ideas to possibly make it long term, but as far as I know, my only option is probably going to be to just go ahead and get it cleaned out. I don't know, you know if I can spray WD-40 in there or something to clean it, but uh, the only other option is to change it, so. So I don't know, I don't know here. I'm, I'm at a loss. I don't know if I can clean it out or not. So I suppose I should get out and start chaining down until I hear back from the old man. Now it's resorted to this. We're back at 10. Oh, man. Hey, look. Now we got a sign up. That's awesome. Go ahead and see if we can't get an alternator put on. And we got out of the shop just in time to get up here to St. Louis and catch traffic. Now, luckily, we're just moving along for right now, but I imagine by the time we get to I-70, we ain't gonna be moving so good, I guarantee you. It never do, it never do, it never do move good through there. Especially this time of day. Yeah, I wonder who they paid them over their grass. They got like perfectly straight lines everywhere up here. Every yard, everywhere it gets mowed, they got perfectly stripes, perfect stripes. I had to throw my food away because the refrigerator wasn't working, so let's go in here and get us some Wendy's. Well, I was going to get Wendy's, but it's been there for 10 minutes. They didn't even take nobody's orders in 10 minutes, and they were struggling to get their orders out, so screw it. We're going to find something else to eat. Now let's try this again. Dr. Bell KFC. 
Got to be better than standing in line. Hopefully. See that tow truck all the time. I never get a video of it. He's even got him. <laughs> got him like something on the hook there. That's pretty cool. We made it. <clears throat> We're just outside of Kansas City. I have to clean my mirror off my window. I was trying to dump my by any sausage juice. I know that sounds wrong, but it like went whoop, right back on the mirror. So, but we made it. We got voltage. We are going to eat our combination of KFC and Taco Bell and get ready for bed. It's been a long day. Should have been a short day, but we managed to make it long, so. Get up in the morning and go do the rest of the stuff we normally do on Friday. Oh. Yeah, we're up. Drinking coffee already. Already got our chains busted off. Just sitting around, waiting to see what's going on in the neighborhood. I got an 8 o'clock appointment to get unloaded. Hopefully, hopefully they pull me around a little bit early so we can get this crap off and get on out of town. Uh, I need to get down and get, get reloaded and try to get home. So That's the game plan for today, but the good thing is I don't have to start my clock until... You know, I get pulled around and get started to get loaded, so that's a good thing. So I'm not not fighting my clock. I shouldn't be fighting my clock today to get home. That's always one of my struggles with coming to Kansas on Fridays is if I get held up somewhere, I got to start my clock early and I get held up. And, you know, it really, it really just kind of one of them deals with the with the time clock it makes it really difficult to guarantee I'm gonna make it home. So. But we should have plenty of time. It's only, you know, 90 miles to go down to our reload and six, seven hours to get home roughly. So we should be good. We should be good. Now we got loaded up. We're headed down the road. Trying to see if we can't get home before it gets too late, but the uh Gonna run the bottom route. Being Friday, time for put me home around seven o'clock. Either way, now ah, St. Louis be a nightmare. I guarantee you. Cows are moving. I was kind of, kind of looking at the weather this morning, and see it's kind of cloudy, but they're. They're saying a uh, pretty good chance of tornado threats in Kansas, so we're going to try to mosey on that direction a little ways and get on over to the house before the old tornadoes jump out at us. We don't want none of that action. Oh man, we were going through El Dorado, Missouri, and yeah, that's a few miles back behind us. We're coming into Collins, but going through El Dorado and Seeing this unique of a vehicle, I don't know whether to call it a car, call it an SUV, or what to really call it other than a unique automobile. But, heck, uh, I barely got my phone up in time to get a picture of it. But we, we, we got it. it. It's definitely neat. I drive it. Well, what we got on the lake today? Oh, man. Anybody over there? I don't see nobody over there. Anybody over here? Ain't nobody over there. Fish are safe today. And a quick pit stop on our little spot here. Low check. We're ready to roll. It never fails. <laughs> Get get a radio call on the old citizens band there. The, the road shut down ahead of you before when you're already committed to going on for the show. Hey gum. This sucks. It's shut down on both sides. Up there shut down. 
over here shut down. We're going to keep her creeping slow though, as long as the line allows me to. There you go. Then he here is going to try and make a U turn in the inc oncoming traffic. That traffic's moving. There's a lot of cars coming. They're saying a truckload of watermelon. Big, big Caught on fire. A truckload of watermelon. Burned up. And there goes a wrecker. Swap <laughs> sure is good. Hey, they cut flipping U turns right out in front of traffic. Yep, there he goes. Truck coming. See you later, loser. You guys are going to be stuck in this traffic for a while. Uh, exit 165, there was a truck that caught on fire. I'm going to cross all the lanes, so. So, 8 highway it is. We go. No other choice. They were, we finally made it up the exit. We're going to take it, I tell you. We're going to take it. We're going to make it home. Just not as early as I know. on the final stretch. We still gotta go and make a right hand turn on old E Highway, but at least we're on 67. Only lost an hour and you know more than I wanted to lose, but you know what does a guy do when you're <laughs> can't go left, can't go right, can't go backwards. What are you gonna do? Wait it out. That's trucking though. Just cruising on down the road, letting the sun set back there. And hopefully, we can get it to the driveway before it gets dark out. But we'll see. But we'll have to go Monday and deliver the rocks. And, and hopefully, yeah, maybe get a load lined up for Tuesday. But well, it's looking Monday we're going to probably go deliver and then go back and probably do the first. A little change on this engine since it's been overhauled. The, uh, I don't know, when we was taking off from the back out, got into 10th gear and turbo didn't want to spool up and this thing started smoking like nobody business. Couldn't even see the back of the trailer, I tell you. But, I don't know, it did it a couple times and it cleared up, but turbo seems to be spooling a lot better now, but we'll have to see. We're heading to the house. We're almost there. Just a handful of minutes left.